Hello friends. So in this short tutorial, we will learn about chmod command. So basically, if you want to change the file permissions, then you will use this command. Now you must have seen the file permissions when you have used ls command in long listing format. Okay, so let's take an example of ls command. As you can see the file permissions in this example are a combination of R, W and X. Here R is for read permission, W is for write and X is for execute permission. While the hyphen shows that the given permission is missing for a particular user. So there are three classes of users, the file owner, the group and others. Next, there are three ways to change file permissions. First is using symbolic method. Second is numeric or octal method and the last one is using a reference file. In the upcoming short tutorials, I will give an example of all three methods to change the file permissions.